Hello folks, Jason Crossman, Grazing Acres Farm. Um, not too long ago, Redmond's came out, I believe it was the fall of, of last year, 2019. Redmond's came out with a new mineral salt that has uh, garlic added to it. And uh, it's now readily available straight from Redmond's. And we are planning to uh, go that route once we run out of the mineral salt that we're already stocked up on which is what you see right here in front of us and this is just Redmond's number 10 fine mineral salt very good product so what I want to discuss today is how I am going to take the mineral salt that we have left and add garlic to it garlic powder um, and efforts to uh, make this compatible against the flies, lice, and mites. Um, from what I've read, it takes you know two, three, maybe four weeks for this to get into their system before it's effective. Um, so what I've done is I've got a full 50 pound bag of mineral salt right here. Um, I've bought a couple packs of this uh, garlic powder and each pack is one pound. I'm going to link this in the video description if you would like to try this. I got it from Amazon. So what I've done is I've started to already mix some in. You can see a clump of it right there. But what I want to do is go ahead and put the rest in and get it mixed up. And then I'm going to take it back and offer it to the cows and see how that goes. So what we'll do, we'll dump it in here. I suggest you use something that has some depth to it because as you can see the wind likes to blow anything away that's uh, freely floating around so got it all in there now I'm going to use a stick and uh, stir it all in I may have to get my hand in there and bring some of the bottom salt up so that I make sure that I get it in there very evenly but this is going to make it uh, rather interesting see how the cows consume it see if they enjoy it do they eat it more do they eat it less and then I'll really be excited once spring starts to see what it does for the fly population okay I'm gonna have to go in with my hand I think and bring up some of that bottom so anyway you want to get it mixed in really well and then after you get it mixed in really well, feed it to the cattle, observe them, and that's just what we're going to do. So I'm going to finish stirring this in, and then as you can see, I've got the, the hay wagon loaded this morning for the cow herd. I'm going to throw this tub up in the tractor, and we're going to take it back and give it to the cows, see how they act. Um, of course, at the same time, feeding hay, they might not have no interest in the mineral. So, we'll see. But, uh... I'm pretty sure that if Redmond's has already put some research into this and uh, on Facebook on some of the grass fed pages I've seen where some of the people have already switched to the new Redmond and they said three four weeks it's pretty effective but you got to get it in their system in order for it to work um, against the flies you can't feed it to them one day and expect the next day to be no flies so let's get back to the cows and see how this goes got our mineral salt and we got the herd moving towards the gate and they know it's time to eat and we got our wagon back there with our hay all right so this is what we use for our mineral feeder it's actually got three separate sections but during the winter, um, we only feed uh, mineral salt. In the summer, one of those uh, con compartments will have uh, kelp in it. Already got cows pushing in. Let's see how they respond. Gosh, garlic powder floating in the air everywhere. 
They seem to like it. They're going back for seconds. What do you girls think? What do you think, Jersey? What do you think, Red? Good stuff? You gonna have more? Yeah! Bring in some calves. Yeah, they're digging that. Red's really liking it. I guess, uh, stay tuned, folks. We'll find out when spring starts how this works for flies. If this works, boy, it could save a lot of money in the long run and a lot of hassle. What a better way to control flies than to put your fly controlling agent inside the cow. And to be natural about it. Nothing nasty in their bloodstream. A little bit of garlic. Everybody loves the garlic burger, right, Red? So anyway, folks, you enjoyed this video. Found it informative. Throw me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. And also make sure you click on that little bell so you can get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching Grazing Acres Farm.